Never mind the backwards hat. I'm not about to fight you or something. This is just easier because it is incredibly hot outside. How hot? Uh, I actually don't know how hot it is today. Let me check. It is currently 91 with a heat index of 102, which is too many heat indexes. But it is better today than it has been recently. Recently, the heat index has been as high as like 120 degrees on some days, with the actual temperature being like 101. So I'll take the 91 it is right now, even though I still hope it goes away rather quickly. But due to the nature of the Hades-like temperatures that are outside currently, we're gonna have a slightly shorter and sweeter video most likely than we probably normally would on a Saturday and we're gonna talk about the Mustang and its clutch action. Now, first and foremost, the MT-82 transmission, it does not have the finest shifter ever from the factory, but beyond that, the actual action of the clutch doesn't necessarily help with shifts feeling vague. The action of the clutch in general is just kind of vague feeling, and the reason why is because it has a 200, I think it's 200 inch pound, helper spring that is really noticeable in the middle of the pedal travel and we don't need that. In fact, it's a really, really common modification to do to the Mustangs as well as other vehicles that have a helper spring in the clutch pedal assembly to go ahead and remove that and supposedly you experience much crisper and better shifts with much more accurate feeling clutch action. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'm not going to do a literal how-to video on how to do it, but I will show you what I am doing it literally takes about 10 seconds to do so let's go ahead and get into it and I will give you my impressions on my first drive of how it feels after having done the free and very simple modification that might make a big difference there's only one way to find out so let's go and here we are let's go ahead and take a look on the inside of the Mustang and see if I can show you what it is that we're going to be doing so if you can see that little spring right there that is what we are going to be taking off. So the way that you do that is you would go ahead and compress the clutch pedal fully. It's easier if you have another set of hands. And you go ahead and cinch a couple of the coils of the spring together with some needle nose vice grips. And then you go ahead and just pop it off right at the top. You can sort of barely see the upper assembly. It should just pull apart. If you're looking for a dedicated how-to, there are, like I said, plenty of videos on it. They're only like a minute long that will explain this and show it off better than I'm currently able to, but that is what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so we pulled the whole helper spring assembly out. Right here is basically one piece. If you can see that, get out of shot so it'll actually focus on it there. Like I said, it's super easy to do, and supposedly it can make a very big difference. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out right now. We're gonna hop in the Mustang and go for a drive and give you my impressions on it. One thing to note though is that this is a helper spring. It does take some weight off of the clutch pedal, obviously. So of course, if you take this out, you are going to have at least a slight increase in clutch weight or whatever you wanna call it. So if that's something that really bothers you, this might not be the modification for you. But if you value a clutch that feels very consistent over necessarily a clutch that is light, then this might be the modification for you. So let's go ahead and see what I think about it. All right, here we go. This is so strange. It's just weird when you change a car you're so used to in such a big way and it's like immediately noticeable. Now I will say, if you're like me, and you heard that it would make a difference in the overall weight of the pedal and you thought, ah, I don't mind a heavier clutch. Well, I thought the exact same thing. And I mean, thus far, I don't mind it, but it is a much bigger difference than you might be expecting. It is, it is very much heavier. <laughs> I mean, if you think about 200 inch pounds, Obviously, I mean, a lot of times when we're thinking about a, a torque rating, we're thinking about uh, foot pounds, at least in the United States. So it might not really like register, but if you divide that by 12, then you reach what we are actually at. So if that's the case, we're down to, I mean, what is that, 17 foot pounds or something like that of torque. But that's still a fairly significant difference in overall weight. It feels very different. 
And when I was reading through this modification and people's general opinions of it, when I was reading people being like, oh, it's too heavy for daily driving, I can't handle it, I had to put the glitch spring back in, I honestly kind of assumed people were being a little bit over dramatic, but I can genuinely see what people are saying after having done this modification. It does, it does make the clutch pretty significantly heavier. It doesn't make it like unbelievably heavy though. Like yes, it is a pretty heavy clutch. It is at the moment definitely the heaviest clutch I have had in any vehicle that I have personally owned, but it doesn't feel like some crazy like stage four three puck clutch in like a 1200 horsepower car or something like that. And like, yes, it is heavy, but the engagement is still like a factory clutch. So you don't get the the downsides of a heavy clutch that you get a lot of the times in the aftermarket. It still feels like a factory clutch. It's just heavier. I do see what people are saying about the precision, but it's so odd how much of a difference it makes on your perception of the, how the clutch travel is in general. Because there's so much more weight there pushing back against you, it feels like the clutch throw has been significantly shortened, but that it literally has not been. The only thing that is not there is that helper spring. Nothing has changed about the clutch travel at all, but it feels much shorter. And I can feel the clutch engaging a lot closer to the top of the clutch pedal than I ever noticed before. And I've literally been driving it for about, I don't know, two or three minutes in this case, at this point. The clutch is so heavy, it's affecting my brain. I do think it'll take some getting used to, for sure, but I mean, if you don't mind a heavier clutch, this is not like unbearable for daily driving or anything. I am literally in traffic right now. No, I'm not in like standstill Chicago or LA or New York traffic. I'm sure that'd be much more painful, but you know, I, I'm stopping and starting a whole lot right now and I really do not see any issue with it. And another thing to note is one thing I was curious about, I didn't see anyone mention it, so I didn't think it was going to be a problem, but I did have my suspicions about was, I didn't want it to be um, that there would end up being some play in the clutch or something like that, or not necessarily play, but just a little bit of like a dead zone without that spring or a perceived dead zone. And that is not there, it is stiff, from the very top to the very bottom of the clutch pedal. And one really big bonus that supposedly um, is received by this clutch pedal modification is that apparently the clutch spring can be to blame for some of like the third gear lockout that you get on the MT82s a lot of the time. And so, I mean, I can't, I can't just make a third gear lockout happen to test that, but it seems to me right now, like it is certainly shifting totally normally, like I would expect. And the clutch pedal definitely is giving a lot more information. Whether or not that's worth it to you, I guess depends on how much you dislike having a heavy clutch pedal. If I'm not mistaken, there are other modifications that can be done um, with like a literally less stiff clutch spring that are sold by a couple different companies and things like that. That might be kind of like a halfway point for certain people, but ultimately I think pretty much anyone could get used to the heavier clutch with a little bit of time. So if you feel like your clutch is a little vague, this isn't something that I'd maybe research for your particular platform, or if you also have an S197 Mustang like me. Of course, like I said, this is a very common mod, and I can see why. It definitely seems like a very solid choice of modification. I will say, on that rev match, the clutch definitely felt a lot more predictable there about where the travel ends. Because there's no like change in stiffness or leverage 
throughout the throw of the clutch, it just feels consistent the whole time. That sort of like change in leverage that happens because the clutch spring's most noticeable at mid-travel can sometimes kind of throw you off. But, oh yeah, you can feel exactly what it's doing with downshifts right now. That's a big bump. Gotta love construction. There's another, woo, and here's a third. Freaking Illinois. I'm gonna go to second, I guess, here. We're about to merge onto the interstate in case you're wondering here. I really wish I could tell who was in what lane right now. shifts like that I mean that's pretty that's pretty solid I mean I was not shifting like ridiculously crazy fast there or anything but even so I felt very confident in the shifts even with the stock shifter just because there was no weird moment where the like the clutch pedal maybe because of the helper spring had not quite released tension of the clutch all the way. I I don't know exactly what the cause of that third gear lockout that is supposedly linked to the to the helper spring is, why it happens, but I definitely did not notice anything locking out there. To be 100% fair, I think that that is significantly more common when you rev over like 7,500 RPM. I don't even think I shifted quite at seven there. It's probably like 65 or something. So I may not have noticed it in the first place. There's some more downshifts here. Oh yeah. Those feel really good. It's so, so nice for those downshifts. And I don't know about you, but for me personally, a huge part of what I like about driving stiff Did I really just say that? I think I did. <sighs> Moving on from that though, I don't know about you, but a huge thing that I love about driving stick is that downshifting and getting the revs to sync up is really, really satisfying. And it feels a lot easier with this, even though like the, the flywheel is still stock and everything. And well, so is the clutch, obviously, just with the, the modification to the clutch pedal. When I am off the clutch, to me, I know I am off the clutch, where sometimes there's a little bit of a moment with the, with the uh, factory clutch pedal spring where it seems like you're all the way off the clutch because it's so light and there's still just a little bit of travel to go. And sometimes that makes just like a little bit of a jerk happen on downshifts like that. So that was significantly improved. But let's go ahead and close out the driving portion of this video with a little bit of a pros and cons list. So first of all, huge pro, the clutch action feels way, way more predictable. It is a fairly noticeable difference. And it's, it's something so small, but you can hear there, I slipped the clutch into gear just a little bit, and I could feel myself messing it up just a little bit there. And sometimes that's something that's easy to do with the factory clutch pedal spring that you just don't notice, whereas it, everything is that much more noticeable right now, which I suppose means your mistakes also stand out a little bit more, which could be a con, I suppose. But generally, everything feels very predictable. And I know I've used that word a bunch of times, but it's because there's really not a better way to describe it. It's very, very predictable and everything is just happening like how I would expect it. Another pro is the potential help for not having the lockout that you get a lot of times with the stock MT82 on Mustangs because of the clutch pedal spring. Now there are other things that can help with that as well, but this is a literal free modification. And that is another huge pro is doing this is free. It is free and it literally takes you from grabbing the tools to doing it if you are at all efficient with your hands. It is like, I don't know, 
a, like a minute. <laughs> as far as cons go, the major one, and really the only one, is it does make a fairly significant difference in clutch weight and or clutch pressure, whatever. The pedal is quite noticeably heavier. And some people may not like the linearity of this modification, where the clutch through and through feels like it's about the same weight, whereas the clutch spring takes a different amount of leverage off of the clutch pedal depending on where you are at in the travel. And that's kind of hard to notice until you do this modification, but just like the fact that right now, if I was to put my foot on the clutch and start pushing it, there's a lot more initial pressure that is needed from my foot to start moving the clutch pedal than with the factory spring. And I suppose, like I said before, it could be viewed as a con that the clutch, it's possible, it might make your mistakes more obvious, but A, I kind of doubt it, because in my experience, it's easier to make mistakes in general when the clutch is not as predictable. And B, if anything, that will help you to learn how to be a better manual driver. And like, if your mistakes are standing out in a way where you can actually feel what you did wrong, that's gonna help you learn a lot quicker than something happening and you not being sure exactly what you did to cause it. There's an ambulance, let's not block people's lives being saved. That's right, I'm talking to you people at takeovers. Literally nothing makes me more mad than people just following totally normal traffic patterns when there is an emergency vehicle that is trying to get through. There are so many people that just turned right in front of that fire truck just because they had a green light. It's like, it is a fire truck. It is trying to save someone's life and or home. Please do not block it from doing that. But we're almost home, so we'll go ahead and give my final closing thoughts on everything as we get back into the garage. Lipton tea saved me from the heat. Oh, I left it in here too long, it's not that cold anymore. Well, final thoughts. Honestly, this made a way bigger difference than I was expecting it to. After reading about it and everything, I, I absolutely thought it was going to do something, but how big of a difference it was gonna make both in the overall weight of the pedal and the overall change in driving feel, I didn't think was actually going to be particularly high. But honestly, I am pleasantly surprised to say the difference is quite noticeable and if you want more precision out of your clutch pedal, this might very well be the way to do it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully if this is something you're interested in, you guys will be able to try out this mod either for your Mustang like mine or for whatever other platform that this might also be a commonly discussed thing for. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We only have 63 left to go, I think so. Which is, first of all, absolutely amazing, and I want to thank everyone for the support that they've shown to the channel so far, supporting the shorts as well as the long-term, long-term, <laughs> that's not what it's called, long-form content. Thank you very much for supporting it. If you did enjoy this video, extra in particular please consider the battery literally died with about eight seconds of filming left because of course it did but continuing on where we were if you enjoyed this video a little extra please consider liking the video as well that also really really helps out and with all of that being said i appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching and i will see you guys all in the next one